just past, we're basically in Casa Grande. So we are doing about 54 miles an hour. It won't go any faster. So it's doing about 173, 175 for temperature. So it's pretty warm outside. So all the other gauges look good. So that's where these are. So it just will not go any faster right now than about 53 to 55 miles an hour. Might have to do with the headwind. We've got a headwind coming towards us. Um, pretty strong, but man, it will not go any faster. And there we have people pass us left and right, which is fine, but it's just kind of feel like getting off the freeway. All right, so we recently took a trip down to Mexico and on the way down, it had plenty of power. It was, we could cruise at about 62, 63 miles an hour really easily and do 70 to 75-ish relatively easily. Then on the way home though, it started getting slower and slower and slower until like we could barely do like 45 miles an hour. So, I mean, it was, it was it just wouldn't accelerate and it wouldn't hold speed so um, we looked online and we had seen people come across this before and they recommended like the first steps you do is change the fuel filters and change the air filters so we went out and bought some fuel filters and some air filters and hopefully we don't lose prime because we don't really know how to prime it we have seen some videos of people priming it and stuff like that we've never done it but we've heard if you take these off and you're careful and you fill them all the way up with diesel that you won't have to reprime them. So we're, hope we're hopeful that that's what happens. So we're gonna give it a go. This is a 3118, it's a Napa filter, and this is a 3120. So that's what we're gonna be replacing. So we've got a brand new 3118 and a brand new 3120. And we've got our big giant strap wrench and some diesel that I just bought in the proper container. So I guess diesel's yellow. Anyway, so we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna start taking this thing apart and see if we can't, uh, see if we can't get the power back into it and then we'll run it um, and test it and see if, it, uh, if it's got its power back. I'm recording. No. <laughs> <laughs> You were recording that all the time. No, I just, I just hit record. Oh, okay. Oh, that's tight. That's not doing a dang thing. No. it off um it actually was less messy than I thought it was on there pretty tight so um, I guess we'll replace this one first set this down all right so we're gonna fill this one up with diesel and then screw it back on like that one was on and hopefully we don't lose our prime <sighs> All right, so we filled it up. We've got, uh, it's full of fuel. So we're gonna stick it back in there. Screw it back. Okay. I 
think that should be good. I'm gonna try to take this one off now. <clears throat> so same thing. This one is a 3120. So it should be similar. Whoa. This one has stuff coming out. Do you want a different towel? Um, I think it's almost done leaking. Right. Okay. Jeez. That one was full to the top. Clean them up a little. That should do the the fuel filters. They are full of fuel, so hopefully we won't have to reprime. We're gonna see if it'll start, so. Next we're going to tackle the air filters. So ours does not have the bath, the oil bath filters. So ours was modified at some point and the ones it takes are these. So these are Napa 6343s. Um, they're just a paper element. So we got four of these at the Napa store and uh, they go way up inside. So we'll be installing these and see if that helps with our uh, engine problems. That's what they look like. These are pretty dirty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, don't stop. Yeah, those are bad. So our old filters were really dirty, but one thing I noticed is that the end had a big hole in it because these probably um, are designed to go in something else. So what I've done is taken a piece of tape and just taped off that hole at the end. Um, I've also put a date, the date that we're changing them. So when this comes out sometime in July and August, you'll know we're a few months late. Okay, that's one. So we've replaced fuel filters and air filters. So we're gonna take this thing out for a little run. It's hot today. It's probably 100 and, what's 105 or something? Oh, I think it's like 109 today. Oh, it's 109. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hot. Um, so we're gonna take it for a run and see if we're still way down on power. Um, if we are, then we may just take it into a shop or something. But this was, we were told, do these two things first. And then C, because usually, like, that's usually the problem. So, anyway, we're going to test it out and see. Alright, so we're going to try to see if we can hit 60. We've just replaced the fuel filters. So we're going down the road. There's 40. We're still making good power. The last time it would quit at about 35 or 40, and it just stopped accelerating, but... It looks like we've got most of our power back.
like changing the fuel filter, changing the air filters seems to have worked. 